Hello everybody, welcome to my December weekly kit and foil lineup. Not a ton of foil this month, but lots of kits. Before we get into that though, I do want to show off my nail polish. Um, this is Essie. It's good as gold. I got it at Target. Um, I am experimenting with this as my wedding nails. I am thinking about just doing my own nails um, to avoid having to go to the salon right before the wedding. Also, I've been trying to find a good salon in town and have not been having the best of luck. So I think I might just do them myself. Um, this is, of course, called Good as Gold. I feel like it's more of a champagne than a gold, but I do really like it, and my fiancé really likes it. And I know typically people either do, like, whites or pinks or things like that for a wedding, but I really like metallics. So I think this is where I'm going with it. So if you have any opinions on this color, let me know. This is two coats of it, by the way. I don't have a top coat or anything right now um, because my current top coat, I think it's getting old, and it's, like, it bubbles up, so I didn't put it on this time. But it's like really, sh um, not really sheer, really opaque for a metallic, which is nice. So I, I really like it. I'm probably going to do whatever I want. But if you have an opinion, um, go ahead and share it with me about what you think about these as, as wedding nails. It's just my natural nail grown out a bit because that's how I roll with a couple coats of Essie. I don't know. I, I'm into it. I, don't, I just wanted to run that by some people. <laughs> All right, let's get into the December monthly, or not, yeah, the December monthly lineup. So the week, the like first few days of December were included in last month's video. So if you're curious about where December 1st is in all of this, go back to the November monthly lineup. This is solely going to be for the weeks that are actually in uh, December. So I've got four Cinderella paper kits. Who's surprised? Not me. And uh, let's just let's just go ahead and take a look at these. Alrighty, so for the week of December 5th through the 11th, I have leftovers from White Christmas from Cinderella paper. I used this for Christmas last year, the Christmas that went very not as planned. Uh, if you want to hear about that, go watch my Christmas plan with me from last year. I have the double box leftover, which of course is going to take up a ton of space, and then I have one other regular full box leftover. So I think based on the, how much we'll probably be going on this week, that will be plenty um, of leftovers to use. We got a little bit of washi. Um, if I had planned ahead a little bit more, I probably could have picked up some underlays to go with this, but it's not going to be a big deal. I'll probably use a lot of checklists. This will be the last week of classes where I teach. Um, actually, they'll be doing presentations, so I actually won't be teaching that much. I'll be watching their presentations and then doing a ton of grading. So we'll still have class, but it'll be the last week of classes. So not too big of a deal that I don't have, like, a whole kit for that week just because I feel like a lot of it's just going to be like to-do list items. Um, I'm going to try to pull in some silver foil with this so I've just grabbed the little bits and bobs of silver foil I have. I don't really have like committed silver foil in my collection because um, it's not really my my choice of um, what is it? It's not really my first choice of foil but I have this little say yes to new adventures overlay. Um, I think we yeah we have an appointment scheduled to pick up our marriage license during this week so I thought I'd go with a more like uh, metaphorical version of adventures. I also have pulled in some hollow foil bits and bobs that I've got because silver and hollow I feel like you can use interchangeably. And then I'm also going to pull in these winter freebies that I have from Cinderella Paper. Again, I mentioned this already. I have like four of these and we'll probably get more. I cannot use all four of these. So if you want one of these like winter checklists, let me know. But these are huge and that'll be good for this week because I'll probably be, well, I might have my Christmas decorating done already. Definitely won't be building a snowman because if we get snow here, gosh, you'll you'll know ch climate change is real then. Um, but uh, yeah, I just thought I'm gonna have a lot of space this week, so if we do any of these things, um, I make hot chocolate like all the time, even if it's like 65 degrees outside. So, yep, I'll I'll pull these in. So that will be for the week of December 5th. Sorry, my coffee has not entirely kicked in just yet, so if I'm a little sleepy sounding, it's because I'm sleepy. 
the air quality is also like terrible right now so like my voice is really gross anyway that will be the first full week of December then for the week of December 12th through the 18th I'm using snowbound again by Cinderella paper I originally bought this for earlier this year like much earlier this year um, I had intended to use this uh, for a ski trip that we were supposed to go on in January and then we postponed the ski trip and then I couldn't go on it because I was working but I thought I would just use this because I have this whole kit in my collection let's go ahead and use it it's also my dad's birthday this particular week um, and my dad's very outdoorsy and likes skiing so it meant it made sense to use kind of a ski themed kit my dad also likes food and this has got food in it so you know um, I pulled out little bits and bobs that I've got in like this blue foil. I don't know if I'll, hopefully I'm not a crybaby this week, but who knows. Um, if I need any of these things, I can use them. I have a happy birthday script that I could use for my dad's birthday. Um, and then this is the kit. I've probably shown this kit before. But yeah, I just thought... You know, I have a full kit, might as well use it. Um, I'm not going to have the chance to probably use it in January. And by the time we get to February, like, winter is so over. Like, my only opportunity to really use winter kits is typically in January, and that's just not going to be possible this January. You will find out why soon. So this I'm going to have to use in December. I thought, why buy another Christmas kit when I can just use a winter-themed kit for the week before Christmas. So that is Snowbound for the week of December 12th. Okay, and then I have the last two kits that you saw were either Ultimate Kit Leftovers or an Ultimate Kit, like the last one you saw. This one is a mini kit from Cinderella Paper. It's called Sweet Home. I wasn't able to get the Ultimate Kit. I don't think she sells it anymore. Um, but I love how these are kind of like alternative Christmas colors with the orange, but you still got the green. Just wanted to do something a little bit different for the week of Christmas. I forgot to say this is for the week of December 19th through the 25th, which of course is the week of Christmas. I love this kind of feral pa pattern. And then the trees and the pine cones. It's really cute. Um, and then I got the glitter sampler to go with it just so I have the glitter headers and more labels because the mini kit is just these four pages and there's no glitter labels. And I personally like using glitter labels. I also pulled out this Alicia Craft freebie I got that's in like an orange color. If I have any, actually I probably will have leftover foil from the foil bundle that I'm using from Liner Designs for Thanksgiving week. That's an orange. I got it in burnt orange, I think. So I'll use the leftovers from that, but I haven't planned that week yet, so I can't show it to you just yet. But if you want to see that foil bundle, of course, again, you can go back to my November lineup, but... Yeah, I'm going to use orange foil with it, which will make it kind of different. Um, I like I like using like traditional Christmas colors sometimes, and then sometimes I like doing something different. Like a couple years ago, I used like, it was like a pink and yellow and orange themed Christmas kit. It was just nice to kind of switch it up. So that will be for the week of Christmas. So that's Sweet Home by Cinderella Paper. All right, and then finally, the week of December 26th through January 2nd, or what date is that? And January 1st, sorry. <laughs> January 1st is the last day of this particular week. Um, I'm probably not going to film this one on camera because I have this week twice because I have a Michael's Recollection that I'm filling, finishing the year with. So that's where this kit will get used. And then I have a Sadie stickers planner that has that same week again. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is that with this kit in my Michael's Recollections planner, I'm going to plan that one on my own. I'll plan ahead, especially because it's kind of a that weird week in between Christmas and New Year's where it's like, what day is it? I don't know. Um, and then you will see the memory keeping version of that week in the Sadie stickers planner and I'll use a different kit for that and that will be in my I decided that's going to be the first kit in my January lineup because thematically that kit goes more with my January kits than it does with my December kits you following me <laughs> so you're not going to probably see this one although I might do um Tanya from itty bitty sticker co's planner roulette with this one just for fun um I might just do that on my own and post it to Instagram. So follow me on Instagram down below if you want to find out what the heck I end up doing with this kit. 
Anywho, this is Gingerbread 2.0 by Cinderella Paper. I love gingerbread. I love making it. I love eating it. I love decorating with it. Um, this is like your more traditional Christmas colors. I love this gingerbread trifle because I'm super into watching Great British Bake Off lately. Um, and we don't make trifles in a... Let me know. Is it just that I'm in California? I'm out in the Wild West with the tumbleweeds and everything. We literally have tumbleweeds, by the way. If you're not familiar, those do actually exist, uh, not just in cartoons. <laughs> um, do other parts of America make trifles, or is it that just like a British thing? Anywho, um, yeah, very traditional Christmas colors. So this is going to be this is going to close out my Michael's Recollections planner. And again, I love this ginger color. I love this person's outfit. I love the tartan. I do love a good traditional Christmas color sometimes, just not every single Christmas. <laughs> um, and for me, personally, I don't know if it's just because I'm Catholic, but um, I don't love decorating for Christmas early. Like, it's November 23rd, and, like, I'm starting to get in the Christmas mindset, but I don't decorate until after Thanksgiving. Um, but then after Christmas, like, my stuff stays up until, like, Valentine's Day. Because what else am I doing in January? Seriously, you know? So, I'm totally cool with doing a Christmas kit the week after Christmas, because to me it's still Christmas, you know? I'm going to try and pull in a lot of gold foil, mostly like leftovers. I don't have a committed foil bundle for this. Um, ugh, something's honking. I have this freebie from Simply a Mess that has like some quotes from When Harry Met Sally. And because this is the week that has New Year's in it, um, I kind of want to make my fiance and I watch When Harry Met Sally. Because that's totally a New Year's movie, you know? And then I just have bits and bobs um, that I'll pull in to decorate because if I do the planner roulette, I think I rolled the one where you have to use foil. So I have to use some sort of foil. Um, what else was I going to say about that? Yeah, I, I wasn't super thrilled with any of the new New Year's art that came out this year. It was pretty, but it just didn't speak to me. So I'm just going to use another Christmas kit because honestly... I'm only getting to use like two Christmas kits this year anyway because I'm using winter kits for the rest of December. So yeah, this year's been kind of weird for using thematic kits. I feel like there's been so much going on with planning a wedding that like, and with other things going on relating to that wedding that um, I haven't gotten to use like a ton of thematic kits, which is fine. It's nice to have like a special year where things are different, but anywho, so that's my lineup. So we're going to have this one. This one just like screamed for gold foil. Like what else could you possibly use with this? This just is a gold foil kit to me. So we have Gingerbread 2.0. We have Sweet Home. We have Snowbound, which if I'm snowbound at any point in my where I currently live, call the authorities. There's something wrong. <laughs> and then White Christmas. So that is going to be my December lineup, all Cinderella paper all the time. That's not true of every month, but for this month, it's just funny that it happens to be. So let me know what you think. Is this, I, I like the like variety of color themes I've got going here. It's really cool. We got like neutral and then pastel and then orange. Orange is a color scheme in my book. And then your traditional Christmas colors. So again, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're using any similar art. I'd love to hear from you and I will talk to you next time. Bye.